back to Voodoo Garage where today you join us in the pits at Brands Hatch Race Circuit. Now we're back for Time Attack Round 2. Um, unfortunately today we are missing a car, Andy's car, as you've probably seen in previous videos, has had a bit of a bad time lately. We've not managed to get an engine in there quite quick enough to compete today. However, we are still joined by Ben's car and Nick's car as well. So um, we'll catch up with both drivers, Elliot who's going to be working on the cars as well all day. Um, and hopefully we'll get a good result like we did last time. Bear in mind, Ben and Nick both came first and second place in the last round. Uh, so no pressure for the boys, but make sure you stay tuned, we'll get loads of footage of the cars and we'll see you very shortly. down a little bit with the sun being hidden by the clouds. Perfect time attack conditions. 54. Uh, so we're joined in the van now by Ben, Elliot and Nick. Uh, just run us through very quickly how you feel you started off today, how your day's going so on. Yeah, really good. Um, first session sort of ended up P1, sort of really good with the time. Uh, car felt really well. Um, done a bit of work on sort of setup since the last round. Um, so it's definitely dialed in, getting some really good turning um, and time-wise showing. So sort I've of ended up, uh, I think it's about 0.6 of a second quicker than I was in the final last year. So uh, and then obviously finally, Bing Bang sat in the corner with his computer. So run us through obviously the, the purpose of you looking at the data and, and so on. Uh, so obviously, as Nick previously said before, we had a bit of an issue with the boost solenoid. So obviously, I want to make sure the cars, uh, along with Ben's, are running healthily. So I'm checking both cars. Like I said, I'm having feedback from the drivers, checking everything they're telling me, everything that works, and just making sure the cars are running mint. Obviously, we've got some podium finishes. <laughs> It's the following day. I'm joined by Ben and Nick, who, again, second time out, have both got a fantastic result. Uh, obviously, we've done well, but uh, how do you think it compared to, to last time? Because obviously, you mentioned earlier you've had a different setup and so on. So, yeah, really good. Um, car got corner weighted. We've had some geo setup done. Um, we've changed the ride heights a little bit just to get the balance um, sort of a bit more, sort of get a bit more turning on the front end. Um, I think the results are sort of showing that um, we're consistently up there, we're sort of ahead of the field, so um, yeah, really good. Can't so complain. obviously it's nice that we're on the podium, but it's getting a little bit competitive between the two of us now, or? Not yet. Um, so obviously, uh, more directed at you, Nick. Earlier on we mentioned that you initially in warm-up had quite a few teething problems. We did a fair bit of messing around to get the car how we wanted it to, and obviously it paid off. But how did you find the conditions when you were out and, and actually um, adapt to a new circuit that you've never driven before? 
Yeah, I mean, in the in the dry, uh, under compression coming through Paddock Hill, we had a, a little bit of catching, so we adjusted some more, but I think it was just the nature of the setup on the car uh, and where we were running it in terms of ride height, it was compressing up and, and touching. Uh, realistically, I think where my mistake, well, I say mistakes, we've got one too, so I'm pleased, but where I could have gone a little bit quicker is, how, is if I'd been a little bit more controlled with myself, so coming in and letting the car cool down, checking the tyre pressure. And so obviously throughout the day the conditions changed significantly, which obviously affected uh, times and so on and so forth. How did you both find that, uh, you know, adapting yeah. into driving and, and so on? I found um, in the wet conditions, I actually quite like wet conditions, but it did unnerve me because we went out just as it started to tip it down, didn't we? And for me, I, I like the car to move around underneath me, but I'd not driven on those tyres in the wet before and, and I, I would not have the opportunity to adjust the settings on the car or change his tyre pressures. So I don't know about Ben, but I found it a little bit unnerving. But we'd only just started to get his groove and then people were coming off all the time, yeah. so it kept getting red flagged. Yeah, it was um, literally I was lining up in the pits Heavens opened up, sort of started to rain, and it just, it, it weren't ideal. Um, could have changed the suspension setups, the damp settings, but um, came out with first and second in the wet as well. So, overall, my point, actually, <coughs> we're happy. Oh, ecstatic, yeah, yeah we went to our, that's our away round, isn't it? You know, that's in terms of uh, home rounds, Ulton Park's coming next. We're already here the following day prepping for that, so we're not messing about, you know, we're, we're really taking it seriously now. Um, but to go that far down the country to where we were, there were a lot of local guys and come away with first and second on the podium, I'm, I'm really pleased. Yeah. So uh, we'll leave the video there. Again, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel if you want to follow the journey that we're going to take this season. Um, but yeah, other than that, thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video.